So, hello again, everyone. <laughs> Today I'm here with Alex of the Sigma Kappa sorority at UCR. Would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, yeah. Um, hi, my name is Alex. Um, I graduated last year and I was SAU's Miss Minerva. Yes. That sounds so weird to say. No, no, no for sure, yeah. for sure. Especially after this whole year, you know, yeah. it's, it's been a while. But um, I just want to start off, so I'm going to ex ex just explain Miss Minerva really quickly. So, Miss Minerva is an event that uh, Sigma Alpha Epsilon at UCR does every year, and we raise money for the Children's Miracle Health Network and CHOC. Um, so, all the money that we raise goes towards those organizations, and it's really, I feel like, a, com a community building event, you know? Yes. Like, everyone from the UCR Greek community really comes together and supports us in our philanthropy and really allows us to have the best experience possible, not only for us, but mm -hmm. obviously for all the sorority yes. uh, people, you know, um, involved, and then the, the kids and chalk in general. So, I mean, my first question t for you is like, what prompted you to even think about uh, being a Miss Minerva contestant? So what made me want to actually like want to participate or even just like put my name down mm. um, was that my whole entire senior year and actually my whole entire um, Sigma Kappa experience was online oh, pretty wow. much. So I really wanted to make the most out of it. Like I was already like meeting a whole bunch of people online right. and like I didn't have any other connections from other sororities or like um, any other friends from like sororities or frats so I was like um, I kind of wanted to leave like some sort of mark right, definitely. at least um, make some sort of like big memory in SK mm -hmm. so that's the main reason why I really wanted to no, do that. I definitely hear that you know and like you know being a Miss Minerva contestant or really any contestant for any philanthropy mm -hmm. is like a lot of work yeah, you know it's a lot exactly. of work and like so I definitely hear you when you say you know it really does leave a legacy you know mm -hmm. like that's a title that you hold and like Again, it was not an easy road, you know. It was, yeah, it was not. So <laughs> it was not. Going off of that, like, what would you say was like the hardest part of being a Miss Minerva contestant? I would have to say that um, you're not only representing like the whole entire philanthropy event itself, because right. like there's multiple contestants, right? right? But you're also like representing a whole bunch of other girls of course, as well. Of course. So like I, it was really hard for me to. Um, I've been in leadership positions, right. but not like that. It's different. It's, it's a different. lot different. It wasn't even really like a leadership position in like, I would say, but it's more of like being able to talk to everyone and see everyone like on your level. Yeah. Like when I was talking to Chapter during the time, I, I didn't really see myself as like, Oh, I'm representing you guys. Right. I was seeing everyone else that we're representing each other, right. and we need to like work together in order to make a giant impact course, on something. Of course, of course. So that was my whole mentality throughout the thing, and like obviously when it's like online, like the communication is just like yeah, really bad. For sure, it's yeah. really bad. It so like um, me doing announcements, my committee. Shout out to my committee. Yeah. I wouldn't have done it without them. Yeah. But like. It just became very like redundant of doing announcements back to back, but like they were definitely the backbone of my whole entire like Miss Minerva of experience. Course. And like I'm just really appreciative. Shout out to you guys. Yeah, I love y'all so much. No, no, I definitely hear you. Know it is, and that really goes back to the fact that it is a community building. Mm -hmm. You know, event. Yes. You know, like. It's not only you representing even yourself, you know, mm -hmm. your sorority, but it's really, you know, everyone in the Greek yeah, community, you know. Exactly. So what did it mean to you to actually be representing Sigma Kappa for Miss Minerva? <laughs> to be honest, I did not think they were going to choose me. <laughs> in all honesty, um, I really thought I was just like, I'm just gonna put my name down. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. And it happened. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> Wow. This but is real. Like, yeah, but like to be honest, it was like a giant like I would say compliment, but at the same time, very like, oh my god, yeah. like they chose me. So mm. like a big liability, and I really wanted to be able to be not only like a role model to them, but also like be able to um, be some sort like of a light to of actually course. like have everyone together, even yeah. though it was virtual. Like I, out of like my two years of being in Sigma Kappa, I've never experienced like my chapter work together so intensively yeah. and so like loving. 
Nah, like, I, very, loved it was, it. I love to hear that. It was like amazing. Like they were so like inspired and like after like Miss Minerva, we started being more involved with other like Greek life yeah, activities. And it was just amazing. And I was like, wow, like um, even though that I'm graduating this year and everything's like um, remote, yeah. I was like, wow, like this is really no, nice. I like agree. I can definitely feel your guys' energy and like love Definitely. like through screen Definitely. and it was really nice i really felt supported and it was it was yeah. nice no i actually you know i love hearing you say that because i agree 100 percent. you know like i've been in se well going on four years but um I, this is my third mr nerva so mm -hmm. i had one in person one online and then mm -hmm. this one which is Kind of like a hybrid, mm -hmm. like, you know, what we're going for. But um, I can definitely say, like, last year, I felt the energy. Like, yeah. It was, it was just so, so nice. it was there, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I definitely agree. Like, obviously, we had to make a lot of adjustments yes. for being online. Mm -hmm. Not only us, but, of course, the contestants and all the sororities as well, mm -hmm. you know? That's really coping, you know? You make yeah. accommodations, you go with the flow. Um, but for us to raise, and us as a community, to raise the most money ever, and while being online... I didn't know that, actually. You know, yeah, yeah, no, know that. crazy, you know, <laughs> record-setting record numbers, you know, and we're all completely online, you know, mm -hmm. all of us, all of us. So, like, I definitely agree that, you know, and I emceed the event last yes, year, too. Did, yeah, I did, did, you know, did. so that was even an experience where, like, we had to learn how to emcee online, and I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, like, this is so different, you know, mm -hmm. but um, all together, I, I agree with you. Like, I think it was a very, like... You could feel the love coming from yes, every single person yeah. who who participated in the event. Mm, and I think, exactly. you know, that's what it's I about, agree. you know. Um, so, like, what did it mean? So, obviously, the money that we raised goes to CHOC, mm -hmm. Children's Health of the OC. Um, so, what did it mean to you that all the money that we were raising was going towards, like, helping kids? To be honest, I, I can't even really explain it in words. But, like, um, I just feel like... Man, this is really hard to explain, but I just sure. felt very, um, I don't know, warm. Very, like, I agree. what's it called? It being my last year and being able to leave as some sort of impact before I left on, like, a whole bunch of kids. Definitely. Kids that, like, I never met, but knowing that they're going to have a lot of help, I just felt very, like, warm, and that was sort of, like, my light within the pandemic I, I was like wow i did something that's in the so pandemic beautiful. and no. i was like oh that's nice no, for sure. so like that's how i felt and like being able to um collaborate with the other contestants yeah. they're so pretty and yeah. so nice yeah. they're so I nice agree, agree, but like um the amount of effort that they put into yeah. it and just knowing that like we were all able to help the certain group of people was just like very it was very sweet, and I hold that close to my heart a lot. I agree, and like, I agree with you 100%. I think every single year that we do this event, mm -hmm. and I, like I said, this is my third year doing it, I think I see it bring our chapter closer, mm -hmm. and I see it bring the Greek community closer, yes. and I love it, you know, I love that we are able to, um, like you said, be that light for people, you mm -hmm. know, especially in the pandemic where, you know, there's so much ambiguity about what's going on in life, yeah. and it's just all around very confusing, you know, I, I love that this um, event can bring people together and mm -hmm. show that, you know, there are people who care about other people, yes. you know, and there are there are people out there who want to see other people live be like prosperous and like mm -hmm. lives full of quality, you know. So yeah. I, it really warms my heart to hear you say that, you know. Um, so like final question, um, how did, you know, winning Miss Fernanda and being a participant like impact your life? I know you went into that a little bit, but like what would you say? I would say overall, um it has definitely made me understand my limits. Um, I did, do have to say Miss Minerva was pretty stressful. Oh, and for sure, for sure. Um, it made me realize that um, I have like a bad tendency of, um, what's it called, trying to spread myself so thin. <laughs> Tell me about it. So like I, it. my winter quarter, I was applying for grad school, doing all those like applications. I was working, mm. I had four upper div classes, <laughs> and I was doing Miss Minerva, yeah. so like I, um, I had like my moments where I was like, I don't know if I can really do this, or like I had, I had to talk to certain girls in the chapter and be like, I don't know if I can do it, no. but I was like, I stepped it, and, but like it was sort of like just me talking to myself, like, hey, you chose this, and it happens for a reason, like I'm pretty sure you'll be fine, so um, I would have to say like it has definitely taught me, um, 
time management, yeah. of course, and um, that if you set your mind to certain things and also be vocal about how you feel um, and actually try really hard, the best that you can, yeah. that you can go really far. Right. And I know that's very cliche to yeah. say, put your mind to it and everything will be uh, okay, but it's actually really true. It's super true. It's super true. And like, as long as that you have a great support system and you're trying your absolute hardest, then that's all that matters to you yeah. at the very end. Yeah, no, I think that's such a beautiful message, you know, because yeah, like we keep saying, Miss Minerva is not easy. <laughs> like, not. you know, I know, I know there's a lot of, you know, you know, when the event comes together at the end, it looks mm -hmm. very cohesive. I and mean, we try and make it look cohesive, you know, but yeah. it flows well. It's a good, like we said, it's a very loving event. It's a lot of, you know, good vibes, but mm -hmm. behind the scenes, so it's, much work goes really into it, you know. Shout out to Jaren. Shout out Jaren. <laughs> He's a coach for Alex last um, year. He witnessed me, like, stressing out a lot a lot of facetime calls with him me like texting him like in the middle of the night be like what does this definitely, mean definitely. so like shout out to jaren i haven't talked to him in a long time yeah. but shout out to jaren that's my pete bro by the way oh shout really out. Yeah, 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 yeah. so um yeah it was just like behind the scenes and like sometimes um if you're called to do something i feel like it's important just to like just do it. Do it. Even though it's like just hard, it's yeah. just the first step, mm -hmm. and then everything will follow through. I agree. Yeah, and I think this this event really builds a sense of perseverance because mm -hmm. um, you know, even the transition online, you know, that was again a no a whole another set of <laughs> issues that, <laughs> that we had to deal so with. A whole different set of issues, and it was a lot. You know, it was a lot, and for us to come out strong on the other end, um, mm -hmm. to me, that just kind of shows the perseverance that I believe that these kids at Chalk have, you know, and I think, you know, it's just great that we can be there for them and we can show them that there are people out there who care yes. about them mm -hmm. and there are people out there who are trying to make a difference and um, that's why we do this event every year, you know, it's it's super heartwarming. Like, I love, is, I love it doing is. it. It's uh, super heartwarming. It's very, um, even though I wasn't really able to experience it in person, yeah. um, just being able to see, like, I remember, like, like, vividly, like, setting up my computer, seeing like a whole bunch of people, yeah. seeing like the chat like yeah. and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Tell me about I it. was like, oh Tell my me about gosh. It. I was just like, wow, like it's so great to see like everyone come together just for a good cause, regardless of it in the past being it virtual and right. not actually seeing it like face to face of course, and of like being immersed into that environment. Right. But like it was just so nice to see that everyone was just like like cheering everyone on yeah like i definitely. was like cheering like everyone, everyone on. i was like oh my god she's so pretty everyone i was like damn everyone. she can dance yeah. oh, <laughs> she played the guitar <laughs> one. no i hear you I so hear it was you. just great and i was like wow like i really wish like i could experience it like in person definitely definitely and i think you know with it being online and it having that much energy mm -hmm. still, like I'm super excited for like the day that it yeah. does happen in person because I know I will be like tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> I will be right there cheering my brothers on and cheering on the contestants and mm -hmm. everyone else, you know. Because at the end of the day, like even though it's a philanthropy, it's a competition event, um, it is really everyone's on the same team. Like yeah. we're all on the same team here. We're all doing it for the right reason. Uh, I think that's really what the theme of the event is yeah, about. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but thank you so much, Alex, course, for being here. Of yeah, course. thank I, you for having me. Of course, me. no, yeah, for sure. Um, thank you guys all for tuning in. Um, and thank you, Gerson, for letting us host this oh, yes. event in this uh, uh in this barbershop. It's really it's, nice. It's <laughs> very nice, top tier. The lighting's great. Um, thank you guys all for tuning in. I hope you have, guys have a great night. Peace out.